In this video I'm going to show you how to work the memory functions on your Casio FX82MS calculator. The most useful function you've got on this calculator is the ability to assign a value to a variable. This may seem trivial but it is actually very useful. For example we could make A equal to 159.27 so if we're using this repeatedly we wouldn't have to keep typing that in. For example imagine you're trying to expand all of this, rather evaluate this, then instead of um, typing out some big number every single time for every single time that x appears or going through um, the multiplications which would be a complete nightmare, you could just make x equal to say the variable a. You'll notice on this calculator you've got all these um, variables in red that you can access using the alpha key you can make any of these variables have some value 10 or whatever so you can save numbers to these variables okay and I'll show you how you can do this it's very simple so let's move this down okay so let's say we want to make x 159.27 all we would do is type in 159.27 and then we press shift then the STO button, which is located here, that lets us access these red things. Um, and if we just press A, that arrow is telling us that that number has been put in memory location corresponding to A. And if you want to recall this, let's say we want to do 1 plus A. Just put in 1 plus, then use the alpha button. You see alpha's in red and the variables are in red. Then A, that gets us an A on there and press enter or rather equals and that is of course 1 plus A. Uh, another thing you can do um, is you can work with the independent memories. It's somewhat more complicated but when we do the example it will become extremely clear. It's, it is fundamentally quite simple. You can clear the memory by just setting it equal to zero. Um, to initialize the memory, so to put the first value in you do shift STO and then M. Um, the M is located on the M plus button, but since you're using STO, you're actually accessing the red here. That's your variable M. It's much the same as the assigning the variable before, because M is one of these red things. Okay, um, then the next steps are if we want to add some value, so say we've got 10 in memory and we want to add 10 to it, we use M plus. If we want to subtract from it, we use M minus. See, M minus is on the same button, but you access that with shift. And then to get our answer, um, we do recall M. So that will tell us whatever value is currently saved in memory location M. Okay, so this example is promised. I'll make this somewhat simpler to understand. Okay, so we've got a load of dividend payments, and we're wanting to total these dividend payments. Um, and then subtract off some expense. These numbers are completely arbitrary. Um, so as just said, the zero point one um, dollars per share fee, maybe a custody fee, whatever. It's not important. We've got this number of shares, and each share pays this dividend per share. Dividend per share. Okay. So here's how we do it. So we do a hundred times one. Well, trivial, but you know. Um, shift then sto and then m so that saves that in m you see this step up here initialize that's what we've done we've put the first result in there then we want to add these two so we do 50 times 7 then m plus then we do 90 times 18 90 times 18 m plus so we've added those two results the next result we want to subtract um, so we're doing 0 0.1 times the total number of shares, that is of course 240 when you add those up. So 0 0.1 times 240, then if we press shift, then M minus, that's subtracted that result 24 from memory. And let's get our total, so just do this, recall. So the recall button is here, and then we press that and it says M is 2046 and that is our answer. So we've totaled this using our independent memories. 
Um, hopefully this has been helpful to you. You should now understand the fundamentals of using memory using this calculator. And thank you very much for watching.